graduated from Central Mindanao University, he is agriculture major in crop science in the field of crop breeding. He is currently at Counts Management at the Tartan Land Bank, and he is a top five licensure examination for agriculturists last week in Winter. And all that does is get their acorns and tooth corn. Hi, ito. So, ito wala na. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Is it okay to take off my mask? Yeah. Sige, sige. Take off na lang ako. Baka, baka kasi hindi ma um, pronounce or marinig nyo ng trauma yung boses ko, yung sinasabi ko. Okay. So, ready na ba kayo sa board? Sure? Sure ba yan? Yung uh, next week na, next week Tuesday, 22, so I hope everyone is excited. Parang, saan na ganun? <laughs> Hindi pa excited? Excited, okay? Kasi after ng board exam nyo, ang raming opportunities na inibigay ni Lord. Yan yung, yan yung pinitingnan nyo. So, tanong ko lang tayo, tatanong ko lang, uh, sino yung fresh grad dito? Wow, rami nyo naman. Mga fresh. Damo-damo ng mga fresh. Diba? Yung mga fresh last year, mga ganun. May mga fresh last year? Three years ago na fresh. Mga ganun. Ah, <laughs> so at least marami din. Kasi di ko alam yung mga schools na ah, nandito. So, Ang alam ko lang kasi sa Iloilo. So thank you so much before that. Thank you so much for inviting me here. So I came from Bukit Noon, Malay Balay City, sa Mindanao pa. So baka matingnan nyo na hindi ako masyado magaling magtagalog. Kasi sa hierarchy namin sa language, Bisaya or Cebuano, then English, ay tsaka pa si Tagalog. So ganun. So bale, taglish tayo if pwede din Bisaya. Kasi makaintindihan nyo naman Ay, hindi naman lahat, pero di ba? Alam-alam nyo yun. Kasi my friend kasi akong taga-UPV. Sila Febby Castro, sila Blan Kaloyloy, taga-UPV Sayas na mga fisheries tech. So, yun yung sinabi nila sa akin. So, um, ano yung mga schools na involved dito? Kasi pag mag kayo yung school, ang ilalagay hindi yung pangalan nyo actually. <laughs> di ba? Sino yung mga, ano yung mga schools dito? West Philippine, uh, West Visaya State University, am I correct? So, ano ba? West? Sino yung taga West Visaya State University? Okay, marami, marami din. Anong school pa kayo, sir? Ano kayong, anong school nyo? Ha? Iskof. Ano po ang Iskof? Iloilo State College of Fisheries. So, Iloilo State College of Fisheries. Sino yung mga taga iskof dito? Iskof. Ah, uh, ano pa? Aside from those two university ama uh, schools. Wala na. Uh-oh. -uh. CPU. Central Philippine University. Central Philippine University. May taga CPU dito? Okay, nandun sa likod. Ba't nasa likod kayo? <laughs> Kasi wala na talagang space. So aside from those three, ano pa? Kapsu. Ano po ang Kapsu? Kapi State University. Sino yung taga-Kapsu dito? Oh, well, uh, three, four, five. Okay, marami-rami din sila. Okay, ano pa? Anong hindi mention? Mention natin lahat, baka umiyak. Okay na lahat? Isat. What is Isat? Ano po ang Isat, ma'am? Iloilo Science and Agricultural Technology. And Technology. Okay. So, sino yung taga-Isat dito? Okay. Marami-rami din. Ano ba yung school na hindi na-mention? Wala na. Wala ng school na hindi na-mention. So, ako din, uh, before that, uh, welcome sa ating final coaching. Ito na yung pinakalas for the subject sa na pinakamahirap sa board exam. Agricultural Economics and Marketing. So this subject is one of the subjects na 
magpakabagsak talaga ng student, ng, ng examinee. So, 50% of our uh, takers last year dito sila bumagsak. Diba? Proud na proud yung examiner dito. Sa kanya siya na bumagsak. Ganun. So, I am Jason M. Chutor. I am from the Department of Trade and Industry, Pukinon. I am a business counselor in the Negotio Center of Lantapan and Kabanglasan. So, I am assisting micro small medium enterprises. Ganun siya. I'm also a former land banker from Bukid Nod as an accounts management assistant where I was handling the agriculture loan accounts of the province. Ganon siya. So I graduated from Central, Central Mindanao University with a major of crop science in the field of plant breeding. Pero hindi ko na pinapractice si plant breeding, breeding na lang. <laughs> yes, and single si sir. Okay. Ready to mingle. Kasi ang sabi talaga nila, punta ka sa Iloilo, the city of love. Oh, hoping makauwi ako with love. Ganun na. Oh. So, si Sir, I'm 23 years old. Ready to mingle pa. Pwede mong i-baby up. Ganun So, sa era namin, 2021, COVID yun. Ganun. So, Sa inyo, ano ba yung requirements ni PRC? Kasi sa amin, quarantine. Vaccination card. Kailangan ba na second booster? Second booster niya kasi? Second dose lang. Okay, so it's very nice na ganun lang. Sa amin kasi, quarantine talaga ng 15 days. So, that is me. Kayo naman, iaso kayo. Sino yung graduate dito ng, um, let us start with agricultural economics? Wala? Wala nang magpapataas kasi sila yung mag-help, mag-guide sa atin ngayon. Tatanungin ko talaga sila. Okay, why? Uh, if any of you are wondering, bakit ako nagtuturo ng agriculture economics, even though I graduated as a crop science uh, major, di ba? Crop science ang ginaduit ko. Kasi kinuha na ni Russell yung koan. Crop science. Diba siya yung kahapon? Uh, I, was, I am also teaching and lecturing crop science. But uh, ibibigay ko sa kanya kasi he was my mentor. Siya yung nagpa, isa siya sa mga people, mga person na nagpa-talk sa akin. Okay? Siya yung nagsabi na ganito yung study mo, ganito yung gagawin mo, ganun-ganun. So kahit yung ang babastos ng bibig niyon, may silbi yun. <laughs> Sino yung Junjun niya? <laughs> Yala, sir, sabihin ko lang, lahat ng Junjun niya hindi nakapasa. <laughs> may curse yun. So, God. Kaya ang sabi, Oh, um, yan, yan yung yan. sa last batch namin kasi 2021 siya din yung crop science and crop protection namin na lecturer nung, nung reviewing pa ako. Ginunjun niya ako, sir, ganito ako sir, hindi pwede, kanibalisan yan. Na, <laughs> hindi pwede, back, back off, back off. So nag-iba siya ng junjun. Buti na lang, if na junjun na hindi ako makapasa. <laughs> kasi my curse talaga hindi nakapasa yung junjun namin. Sa batch. So, magsindi ka na ng kandila. Mag-ritual ka na mamayang gabi. Na. Yung first ni Russell Roa ay mawala. Okay? So, siya lang yung Junjun? Siya lang. Okay. Boy, I'm not joking. Diba? Ganun talaga. Ganun talaga yung mga Junjun niya. Kaya talaga, ginugusto ko talaga na. Sa? Oh. <laughs> So after na lang ito, mamayang gabi, hindi ka ng kanila mag, ano, gawa ka ng mga description na papasa ako, hindi ako junjun. <laughs> Ay ba, ganun yun. Na, kaya after, kaya yung time ko talaga is after sa kanya. Oo, kasi ang rami-rami kasi yung mga curses na pinapawala ang visa natin, di ba? So ganun talaga kasi... Ganon, ganon. So, ano pa? Ang dami ko ng chika. Ang late ng oras natin, ang taas-taas pa ng uh, agriculture economics. Ang, ang laki kasi ng topic na ito. So, sino yung nakakita ng 200 items sa Google Drive? I, I think na-send ni Ma'am Janelle. Wala. Wala. Uy, na-send daw. Uy, huwag niyo na. Baka sampalin kayo ni Ma'am. Na-send? Na-send? Uy, sabi niya sa akin, na-send, na-upload daw sa Google Drive. Yes. That exam, I crafted that um, based on the previous exam. So, wala pa? 
sa Sure ba? But it's okay. Meron naman akong prepare na slides doon. Nakabase siya slide. But it would be a big reference for you para sa mag-study kayo mamayang gabi. Okay? Ganyan lang. Di ko ata nadala yung pointer ko. Diyos ko. Naiwan ko po ata. Okay? So that is me. Sino yung agriculture economics again? Wala. Agribusiness. Wala ng agribusiness. Um, ano ba si, ano yung mga schools nyo? General agriculture or specific majors? Ah, so, but, merong but dito? Or ge general agriculture, general science and agriculture? Or general agriculture? General agriculture. May mga major ba dito? Crop science. Horticulture. Ganun. So, your major would be crop science lang. Ah, okay. Sa amin, yung major namin crop science, tapos meron kaming fields, right? Kaya ni Russell Roa, siya ay horticulturist, di ba? Sa akin, ako naman plant breeder. Tapos isa, agronomy. Ganon. So, sino yung animal science dito? Okay. Ah, Nakatry na kayo yung pinasok niyo yung kamay niya sa uh, vagina ng kalabaw, swine at baka. Hindi niyo na-try. Pero iba yung pinasok niyo, pinasukan ng kamay niyo. Ba? Magagaling yan sa mga ganun-ganun eh. ba diba? Yung mga animal science, magaling yan. So, animal science, mataas din ang kanyang uh, feeling percentage. Okay? Isa din yan sa nagpapahirap sa atin. But, uh, next, uh, tomorrow would be agricultural extension and communication. But before we'll start on that particular subject, we'll be having previous and current events. Okay, it would be a very big uh, boring sa inyo ang reference kasi si Agricultural Board Exam is more on trivia and current events, di ba? Na-lecture ba ni Inday Russell si BT Eggplant? Okay, I hope kasi napaka-updated ng ating examiner. Okay, so ang daming daming chika ni sir. Let us start with... Bakit may ganito ako? Kasi okay... Ah, uh, ito yung scores ko sa last 2021. Yung pinakamalit ko si Crop Protection, kasalanan niya ni Russell. <laughs> Kasi walang lumabas sa kanyang sinabi. Mga lecture. Sa board exam, may ganitong question sa Crop Protection. In Leviticus chapter blah blah blah, verse blah blah blah. What best attack the empire of Egypt? O, di ba? Sino nagbabasa ng Bible dito? Ako hindi. Kaya nga, double time yung pagsisipa natin. So, may mga ganong questions. Are you prepared for that question? So, ano yung sagot niyo? Ano daw yung best na umatake sa empire ng Egypt sa Leviticus? Locust. Wrong na kayo. Ano pa? Locust, frogs, rats, ticks, fleas, and mice. Okay? But the answer is all of the above. Okay? So, in-answer ko din, locos. Kasi hindi ko din alam. Kaya wrong ako. So, may, may ganyan sa crop protection. Okay? Mga trivia. Trivia yan. Uh, sino yung pinakaunang agriculturist? Keshites. Based on Bible, sino? Si? Si Adam. Okay, si Adam. Yung first agriculturist natin. So, my highest would be crop science and soil science because I'm a graduate of crop science. Tapos, all plants are anchored in the soil. Tapos na kayo mag soil science? Ako ba yung last lecture? Ano pa yung after it na? Oh, animal science. Okay, that would be good. Okay, so uh, are everyone, meron na ba silang nawa? Dala nyo ba ang nawa nyo? Hindi ngayon, pero nasa inyo ba? Sino yung no one na nandun sa PRC? May mga ganyan na instances. Oo, oh, sige, wala. Uh, dala kayo ng maraming pagkain, okay? Kasi what is the food for the brain? What is the food for the brain? Sugar. What is that particular sugar? The simplest sugar. That is in animal science. Tinanong yan. What is the simplest sugar? That is found in carbohydrates. Glucose. What enzymes catalyzes or breaks down the carbohydrates into glucose? Yung nasa saliva natin. 
Let's start with letter A. That is correct, that Amelie. Um, so, ganyan yung mga questions sa animal science. Prepared kayo? Uh, mga, since bukas, pwede nyo pang tanungin yung lecture nyo. Try nyo yung mga amino acids, essential amino acids, mortality rates. Kaya marami kasi yung computation sa animal science. Yes. Ilan yung namatay sa loob? Ilan yung namatay sa labas? Mga ganun. Mortality rates. Pearson, uh, Pearson square, uh, trial and error, ano pa? Dressing percentage. Okay. Sino yung may calculator na scientific? Sa amin na case, may naban na sa board, na board sa board, kasi yung calculator niya, yun yung hindi pwede sa PIC. Okay? Tapos na board siya. I suggest magdala lang kayo ng normal na calculator ng nakikita niya sa mga merkado. Diba? Nung nasa tendera ng nagbibenta ng isda. Yan lang. Huwag yung may tunog. Okay? Ang inga-inga kayo, tuwot, 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 tuwot. Tapos hindi, di ba, parang solemn yan. Solemn yung board exam mo. Walang masyadong, ha? Ah, yeah, ganito. Pwede ito. Ganito. Mga ganyan. Ganito lang. Okay? Huwag din yung masyadong malaki, ha? <laughs> Kasi sa amin yung exam uh, venue, elementary. So yung table, ganun lang. So kung ma malaki yung calculator mo, wala ka nang masasulatan. Okay, so please bring a calculator na hindi scientific. Hindi naman tayo engineering. Maghanap lang tayo ng engineer. Okay. Pencils. At least, bring at least three pencils na, na, ano ba, na sharpened on both ends. Okay? Huwag na huwag niyong dalhin na may eraser siya. Kasi meron tayong muscle memory na if mag marong yung shading natin, isi-shade natin siya pag gamit yung pula. And that red eraser can cause a blot on your answer sheet. Okay, baka hindi na siya babasahin. Okay, please bring a separate eraser na white. Okay, itry na yan, tapos pag ganun na walang black, okay, yan yung gagamitin mo. Dala kayo ng tatlong uh, pencils para hindi na kayo mag-sharpen. Kasi kahit four hours yan yung board exam, napakahirap ng tanong. Okay, one one question, sometimes 20 minutes natin titingnan kasi hindi natin alam ang sagot. Diba? Mga ganun. So, dala na lang kayo na tatlong Ano ba? Pencils. Mongol too. Okay? That would be your preparations on your pre-examinations. Sa amin, uh, 19 and November 9, 10, and 11. Sa inyo would be 22, 23, and 24. On the first day, uh, meron tayong general instructions and filling out of forms. Ito yung pinakamahirap sa lahat. Kasi sa board exam, walang name yung answer sheet. Walang name. Code lang yan. So, dito sa first part, general instructions on filling out of forms, dyan nyo ilalagay yung mga pangalan nyo at yung isi-shade yung code nyo. If wrong kayo dito, kahit correct yung mga answers nyo dyan, bagsa kayo. Okay? At this point, dapat correct yung shading nyo. Mag-shade kayo gamit ng lapis. Pag maglagay ng pangalan, gamit kayo ng ball pen. Okay? Ganon siya. Black ball pen, huwag kayong mag ang blue. Ganon. So, Dito, wala na ang pangalan ng mga answer sheets. Code lang yan at subject. So, dapat correct yung first form mo. Tapos, six pages yung answer sheets. If dito sa first subject, crop science, kukuha ka dapat sa likod. Hindi sa front. Sa likod ka kukuha, okay? Please, sa likod ka kukuha. Baka magkaiba na yung code. Dapat sa likod ka. Okay? If, kasi yung mga instructors natin na proctor, hindi nila, minsan hindi nila alam yan. Dapat kayo mismo alam nyo na yan. Okay? Kasi yung kinukuha ni PRC sometimes tolileng eh. Diba? Hindi natin pwedeng-pwede isalalay yung mga sacrifices natin para lang sa ganung mistake. Diba? Maraming ganyan. Okay? So, this would be your first day, crop science and soil science. Second day would be crop protection and animal science. Third would be yung pinakamahirap, agriculture, economics, and extension. Diba? Madali lang to. Pero marami ang lit ng scores natin. Bakit? Ang taas kasi. 12 pages yan. Yung answer sheet. Ang maraming paragraph. That's why ang uh, bukas, baka mupusan tayo ng hangin kasi ang maraming paragraph. Okay? Ako pala ang mupusan ng hangin. Okay? So that would be your first, uh, that would be your on day. For the exam. Are you ready? Yes, you should be. Okay? Di ba ang ganda pag pasay nyo ng board exam? Okay, I'm a proud agriculturist. 
ganoon. So, grab that license. So, uy, bakit may ganyan? Okay, uh, uunahin ko muna yung mga uh, very important sa board exam, feudalism. Diba? It is a ideology. Have you heard of feudalism? Diba? It is an ideology. Social classes are a structure. Sino yung kasama sa ideologies? Pero kapitalism, communism, socialism, ano pa? Yes, we will be discussing that. But kasi, kasi ito, separate ko siya. Kasi ang marami niyang relevance. Bakit social classes are structured? Lumabas kasi ito, two points. An agrarian economic system in which the control of land and the specialization of class roles between landholders and peasants is strictly structured. So the point is ito. Let us start with, sino yung nanonood ng esekay na animin dito? Diba yung mga esekay? Diba mga ganun? So in a kingdom, we have the highest authority would be that in that is in the feudalism. The highest authority would be the king. Kasama na yung mga royal bloods. Okay. The next would be, ano yung next na king? Uh, in line with power. Uh, hindi na kasama yung royal bloods. Sa royal uh, family. That would be the nobles. Okay, the nobles. Hindi na kalagay yung nobles. Kapkate, kanba lang yan. The nobles. And then after the nobles, the landlords. And then the landlords, pheasants. After the pheasants, the slaves. So what is the relevance in, the, in this uh, structure? In the modern day local government code, what is the highest presiding officer in a country? The president. That is the president. After the president would be, it's not the vice president. Okay? Sino? If, sino? If, di ba, remember nyo March 15, 2020, nag-lockdown tayo. After gi binuo ni President Rodrigo Duterte yung executive order na mag-lockdown, sino yung next mag-implement nito? It would be the governors. That is under the LGO code. Okay, the governors. After the governors, sino yung bibigay, bibigyan niya ng the mayors of the cities and municipalities. We will, we will also be tackling the cities and municipalities on agricultural extension. Ganan siya. After ng cities and municipalities, ano yung? Ah, the barangay. Okay, ganun siya. So, an actual board exam question. What is the ideology of the Philippine economy? Pag masagutan niyo yan, may one point na kayo. Who says A? Capitalism. Next. C. Socialism. T. Fascism. Yung iba walang sagot. All of the above, ganun. The answer would be capitalism. Okay. Review na lang to ha. Hindi na tayo mag-lecture. Is it okay? Ganun na lang tayo. Tidvet trivia. Ano ba yung pinakahirap niya sa agriculture economics? Yung nahihirapan talaga kayo. Ito, um... Inuuna ko talaga yung mga maraming lumabas sa amin last year. So, next would be market structures. Five points to, ang daming lumabas. Alam niyo yung market structures? Give me one. Ano? Naka-insecure talaga ng mga people dito. No? Ang ganda-ganda ng skin, Diyos ko Lord. Ayoko na, win ako. <laughs> ganda niyo talaga ng skin. Ang ganda talaga ng skin niyo. Wow. So, Again, what are market structures? If, meron ba kayang example? So, market structures talks about sellers, buyers, prices. When we say about sellers, buyers, ano yung nasa isip natin? Yeah, mga ganon, monopoly, oligopoly, those are market structures. So, let us start with those structures. So, meron tayong, meron tayong columns, four columns. Let us start with the first column. So the first column stated that number of number of firms. What do I mean by firms? Businesses. Okay. Type of product, 
barriers to entry, super normal short run profit, super normal long run profit, and then a pricing pricing powers. So let us start with perfect competition. Ano yung examples niyo ng mga perfect competition? Mga ang rami raming competitors. In the agriculture sectors, of course, sector of course, it's the farmers. Napakaraming kompetensya ng farmers. Diba? The same yung products nila. The same yung mga pinuproduce nila. Dito sa Iloilo, ano ba yung number one commodity nyo? Rice. It's the upland rice, di ba? Ano yung variety? Pinarado? How do you know a lowland rice variety from... How do you differentiate a lowland variety from a uh, upland variety? So, board exam, number one, lalabas sa gayaan, lumabas sa crop science. Bakit napunta ka naman sa crop science, sir? Kasi ang grabe, kasi economics kasi encompasses everything in the, in the whole agriculture sector. Ganon siya. So, let us start with how do you identify lowland varieties from upland varieties? Is it a lowland? Is it an upland? Who oh, is lowland? That is RC236. Upland. To give you more confidence in this part, kasi ang rami-raming varieties. Hindi ko nga sa, sa ulo yan, kahit yan yung kinakain namin. Kami yung gumagawa ng varieties sa plant breeding. So, for the information of everybody, this is a lowland. Why? Even siya. Ganun lang yung identification nyo. Pag RC... RC237, this is an upland rice variety. But there are exemptions when the varieties are ED or IR. Sometimes IR40, this IR45 is a lowland. Okay? Pag ito, kailangan alam nyo na lahat ng varieties ni ED na lang. Kasi ito, RC galing sa NSAC would be lowland upland. Eto, uh, alam natin upland yan. Uh, pangit ng handwriting ko. Dinurado. How can you identify based on the names lang? When, uh, when a rice variety is an upland, it is named after mountains and landmarks. When varieties of rice are in are lowland, it is named after its lakes and rivers and streams. Okay? So, ganun siya. Two points yan sa crop side. So, balik, balik. Balik tayo sa perfect competition. Ito yung purpose ko na sa inyo, yung magbigay ng mga insights on every subject. So, yun yung uh, ni-request din sa akin ni Ma'am Ruby. Okay? So, perfect competition, there are many firms. Diba? Mga sari-sari store. Magkano ba ang kwek dito? 30? 20? Ano itlog nyo dito, gold? Ba't ang mahal? Three pieces. Na normal egg? Quail eggs. 20 na yung quail eggs, yung pugo. Yan, ano mo si pugo? Sansai. What is scientific name of pugo? Japanese. Japanese quail, rather. Japanese quail. Motor names? Japonica. Okay, lumabas siya. Okay, so, 20 pesos yung Tatlo, ano? Grabe yung inflation ni Iloilo. Diba? Pupunta pa naman sa ano. Mahal, grabe ang mahal. Diba? We'll also be discussing price prices on the later run. So, again, ang rami-rami ng mga charlie, sir. Hindi pa siya natapos sa second column niya. So, type of product, homogeneous. Okay? The farmers are selling the same products they are producing. Rice. Diba? May rice field dito, rice field doon, iba-ibang farmer, the same product. Okay, those are homogeneous, just like sari sari store. And on, barriers to entry, none. If we have land, we can now, we can now go into farming. Ganun lang siya. Super normal short-run profit, there would be profit in the short-run. Sa pagsugod mo lang ng business. Bakit? In the long run, wala. Diba if mag sari sari store ka, Kung ikaw lang mag-isa dyan, maraming benta. Pero sa Pilipinas, meron tayong mga suyaun, di ba? Sari-sari store ka dito, may sari-sari store dyan. May sari-sari store dyan, di ba? 
magkwek-kwek ka dito, may kwek-kwek yan dyan, ganun. So, in the long run, wala ka ng profit. Okay? Profit means kita. Okay? Pricing power, price taker. Magkano yung presyo ng lowland, uh, well meat polished rice dito? Per kilo? 40? 44? Ha? Bakit yung takot kayo? Di naman, di, di, di naman sasabihin ni DTI yan. Chai. Ano yung presyo ng per kilo ni rice dito? Di ba? Di kayo nabibili, huwi. Depende sa klase. Depende sa variety. Walang variety ng 7 tonner, ha? It's not a variety. It's the yield of that particular variety. Okay? So, magkano? 45. Let us go with 45. So, ilang taon yan ang 45? Di ba yung 45? Hindi nagset yan si retailer. Di ba? They are just price taker. Passive sila. Okay, passive sila. Naghihintay sila na presyo ng iba. Okay, hindi sila gumagawa ng presyo. That is a perfect competition. Oligopoly. Few dominant firms. Oh, so, I will give an example sa ito. Yan, si Philippine Airlines. Actually, na-cancel yung flight ko kagabi, tapos nag-transfer ako, na-move to 8 p.m. So, possibly, darating na ako dito sa Iloilo at 6 p.m. So, na-move siya. So, oligopoly means few dominant firms. Ma maliit lang sila, uh, ano ba maliit? Hindi sila marami, but napakalaki nila. Just like the airlines. May tayong Air Asia, Cebu Pak, and PAL. Okay, so type of product is differentiated. Bakit differentiated, sir? Na isa lang yung service nila, nagpapalipan. When we say, what is the best airline? It is the PAL. Alam na din agad. Because their products and services differentiated through their servicing opportunities. Napakaganda talaga ni PAL. Diba? Magkaiba yung waiting kung lunch area niya. Kumpara sa other uh, airlines. Ganun siya. Barrier to entry is very high because napakamahal ng aeroplano. Diba? If Carbosa ka, bibili ka ng airplane, go lang. Super normal short run profit? Yes, there would be profit. Long run? Yes, there would be profit. Pricing power, price maker, but interdependent behavior. I think there was a question in your 200 items. What is the term called when the oligopolistic firms merge together in order to discuss prices? Diba? That is cartel. That is what happened to our gasoline prices. Okay. Sikit lang natin to ha. DTI, si DTI kasi nagconduct ng investigation together with Department of Energy that the gasoline prices were not uh, were high not because of low supply but because the Shell and other Petron and mga ganun na gasoline stations, big companies, sila yung nagpataas na prices. Okay. So, cartel is an illegal uh, conduct. That would be in the oligopolistic uh, field. Okay. Price maker but should the interdependent behavior. Ano na mangyayari no pag si Air Asia, si PAL, tsaka si Cebu Pak mag-merge, mag-discuss ng price 5,000 per flight. Wala na. So it that's why its cartel is an illegal. Illegal rather. Monopoly, the ever so famous monopoly. In the 1987 constitution, monopoly is an illegal. Illegal yan. But Wala man, wala man tayo magawa kasi that is reserve technology. Tinuturo ba sa atin yung paggawa ng bitsin? Ajinomoto is a monopoly. Okay. One may pure monopoly if dalawa sila, duopoly sila. Type of product, limited, ajinomoto, bitsin lang. Apple is a monopoly. Hindi po siya kasama sa, hindi po niya competitor si Android. It is a monopoly. Barrier to entry is very high. The technology in order to create the big scene, hindi natin alam yan. Okay? Short run profit, yes. Long run profit, yes. Price maker sila. Okay? Sila yung nag-create ng own prices nila, but they are constrained by demand curve and possible regulation by the government. Hindi, di ba, if alam nyo, almost 10 years, 1 peso lang ang big scene. It was regulated by the DTI. 
Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Monopoly in the agriculture sector is the NIA and the NFA. Bakit monopoly si NIA? Sila lang yung nagpapatubig ng atong Lulan Party Rides. Diba? But, bakit monopoly si NFA? Before RTL, which we'll be uh, discussing later, or the rice certification law, sila lang yung pwedeng mag-import ng bigas. Okay, yan na siya. Mabilis pa ko. Parang, gano'n na sila, um, early, early pa. If you, uh, sabihin nyo na ako mabilis ha, kasi di ko kasi namamalay na ang gano'n na pala. Chika daw na kasi ako eh. Diba? So, nakakanda kasi ako ng seminar. Gano'n na, uh, nagle-lecture. So, mabilis na gano'n yung sinasabi ko. Oligopsony. When we say, uh, when we say poly, it is sellers. When we say Sony, it is buyers. Gano'n siya. Oligopsony, few powerful buyers. Supermarkets, di ba? Si Robinsons. Marami, uh, few lang sila but napakalaki. Limitado lang yung pwedeng magtinda sa kanila. Napakaraming suppliers but limitado lang yung bumibili. Those, those are oligopsony. Monopsony naman dito is sa amin sa bukid noon, meron kaming monopsony on uh, sugar cane, di ba? Ano yung monopsony dito? Nag-iisang bumibili. Ano yung uh, kuhaan? Isang business na siya lang talaga yung nag-iisang bumibili. Sa amin, isa lang yung nagbibili ng sugar cane ng ating mga farmers. That would be Busco Sugar Mailing Corp. Corporation Incorporated. Sa inyo dito, sino, sino yung monopsony? Ano? Victoria? 